Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subbie, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, life, Peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look see what the week ahead has in store for you. So your key to the week this week as from the uh, February 2020 monthly reading was the world card. All right. So whenever you see the world card this is about completions, it's about wrapping things up but it's about doing so in a satisfactory way. It's about bringing something to a culmination that allows you to move forward, that allows you to take that step forward so that you know that the way it is, or so that you know that when you do move forward you're also going up a level. It's very much a card of mastery, of leveling up. It's a card of uh, real completions and it's about reaching the end of a big cycle. So whenever you see the world card, you know that you're heading towards your best. It means that you've done enough to move on to the next level, to move into the next sort of state of being, so to speak. Uh, it's also a card of perfection, believe it or not. So as your key to the week, this week you're being asked, Aries, how do you wrap things up in a satisfactory manner? What is it that you now understand needs to be closed down, to be closed off or to be removed from your life path? So your actions and your path ahead this week, you have the Seven of Swords, all right? So not an easy card. Um, interestingly enough, your Seven of Swords, is it can be about lies, it can be about deceit, it can also be about um, where people are being dishonest with you or to you. Now, um, the fact that this is on your actions and your path, right? So this is what you're choosing to let go of. Anyone or anything that doesn't do what it says on the tin, right? This is about you removing those sorts of people, those sorts of energy or phasing them out of your life path. Your Seven of Swords basically says that this week it's very likely that you could catch somebody in the act of a lie. You could be catching somebody out in some way, shape or form and you being an Aries, right? You're going to call them out on it. The thing about the Seven of Swords though, it can sometimes see, a, I mean, because it is with the world card, right? So this is really asking you, where is it that you are potentially sort of selling yourself short? Where is it that the self-sabotage is coming in? Um, and sometimes the self-sabotage that we do is to allow someone or something to continue in our lives when we know that the connection has long since perished. So this is a week where you're really gonna have to be honest with yourselves, Aries, to ask yourself, okay, what is it here that I, um, what is it here that I really need to remove? What is it here that I need to let go of? And ultimately this week, uh, you could catch somebody, like I said, you could catch somebody in a light. Now, the thing is with the Seven of Swords, because it does come with the world card, the feeling that I get from this is you may have already made plenty of excuses for this person. And if this is the case this week, it's gonna be so plainly and blatantly obvious that you can't keep making mistakes for them that something's going to have to give so this week it does look like you're having to make a big and possibly difficult decision all right so for your uh, communications and conversations you have the judgment card I mean, big cards, right? This is the card that precedes the, I mean, in that deck, it's the universe, but this is the card that precedes the world card. So whenever I see the judgment card, this for me is the Mercury retrograde, right? It's that sort of thing. It's that card that brings things back into the fold. It brings things up so that they can be looked at. The Mercury retrograde is happening in your 12th house which is all to do with your past. It's all to do with what is, uh, you know, what is kept in the subconscious, what is kept under wraps, the things that you might not necessarily admit to or share with other people. Uh, the fact that you have this in your communications and conversations. This week, Aries, you might not be able to get out of the difficult conversations. This week, it does look like you might be having uh, the final talks on something, right? Because you've got the Seven of Swords there, you've got the World card there and it's kind of infusing everything. So this is bringing everything to a head. This is a week where you're just going to have to have those awkward 
difficult, possibly even challenging conversations. And because it is the judgment card, you have to call it like you see it, right? This And this is the whole point. The world card is the completion and the ending. So, you know, the key to your week is trying to bring in this energy of let's complete these things, let's end these things, let's move you towards what is actually going to be for your highest vibrational good. Your communications and conversations with your judgment card is saying, but before we do that, there are things that need to be addressed. There are uh, conversations that need to be had. There are gonna be moments where you have to ad either admit to uh, your own shortcomings, first of all, or you're gonna have to highlight somebody else's shortcomings and call it like you see it. The judgment card never allows anything or anyone to hide. I mean, when you look at the motif there, right, it's an angel blowing the final trumpet and calling the, you know, the dead, like it's raising things up. So this week, Aries, your, your carpet is coming back and whatever has been swept under there is coming out for all to see. Um, this could be on a personal level, but it, the feeling that I really get from this, because this is your blast from the past sort of energy, this could be where something has been hidden from you. This could be where, uh, you, you know, where you didn't have the full picture. And then this week you could be getting that full picture. This week you could be getting that glimpse behind the scenes that you weren't privy to before. When you have that more complete picture, you then have more energy, more power, and ultimately more authority to make the decisions that you need to make. Um, so this is going to be a really interesting week for you guys. I do feel like there's a lot, sort of, a lot wrapping up here, especially with these cards. Those are really powerful cards. Uh, for your money and materials, you have the Hanged Man. All right, so interestingly enough, again, this card is all about reassessment, reevaluation. Um, Mercury in retrograde is about reassessment, reevaluation, revision, uh, you know, redoing something, uh, retrying something. Your money and materials this week, your urge to pay attention, just observe how things are. And ultimately, whatever this piece of the puzzle is that's coming in here, I feel like it's going to impact your finances, but it's going to impact them for the better. The hanged man kind of asks you this week, when it comes to your money and materials, Aries, you've got to get out of your own way um, and this you know for those of you that have assumed responsibility for somebody financially and you can no longer do it this week you're gonna have to say so uh, where you have seen somebody acting out of integrity or acting out of um, yeah you know just out of in, in, out of integrity or you, you know maybe not being as um, as present or as conscious as they could be, uh, this week you're gonna notice that. When it comes to your own personal finances though, this is a week for you to just hang back and observe. It's not a week for you to do, necessarily do anything, all right? So you've just got to be present and wait for whatever information it is that's coming to light. When it comes to your physical dwelling, it looks like you're spending a lot more time at home this week uh, for and when I say at home I mean it doesn't necessarily have to be at home it could be uh, with the family uh, with the extended family it looks like there's a lot of interaction here um, with others and it looks like there's going to be some pretty big and possibly even heavy conversations coming up so your love and relations you have the ten of wands there's definitely something taking place around or in your home or in the family home this week uh, your ten of wands is uh, about the release of a burden right so for those of you that are partnered this looks really nice because it feels to me like you might finally be getting this understanding of where a potential love partner uh, is coming from, where they're actually at, what's going on with them. For those of you that are partnered, it looks like the relationship gets easier this week, but it's through observation and communication. You don't necessarily have to do anything, but you do have to be present and listen to what actually comes up. And if you need to, call it like you see it, right? This is gonna be really, really important this week and I know a lot of people are thinking like oh you know Aries usually do call it like they see it that's true but when our emotions are involved when our hearts involved not all of us do you know it doesn't matter what sign you are I think a lot of people are able to gloss over uh, some pretty poor uh, or, or downright sort of crappy behavior uh, when there are feelings involved when it's family when it's you know any of those things now speaking of family coming into the relations part of this 
Um, it does feel to me like there's something being lifted off the family this week. There's some sort of burden that's being eased up, that's being lightened. The load in some respect is becoming lighter, but it is going to require 10 of wands right underneath the judgment card. There are big completions taking place here for you this week, Aries. You're gonna have to be present, you're gonna have to be focused, you're gonna have to go with it. Um, it's gonna be a really interesting week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care and I'll see you soon.